Hey Libras! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 1st to the 11th. For all my newbies, hey, welcome. Um, I always talk about my meditative session first and then I go into the reading. Keep in mind my meditative session is energy that I'm picking up in and around you. So it could pertain to you directly, someone you're uh, energetically connected to, or someone in your immediate environment, okay? Libra is, I had some interesting energy coming for you. Some, some really awesome energy. A lot of focused energy, a lot of hard working energy. Libras, you're focused. Some of you are studying. Some of you are researching. Some of you are burning that midnight oil. Either way, you're getting your ass to work. And it has... <coughs> Damn it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Mm. Ah, my voice has been very raspy all day. Libras, whatever this energy is that you're into, whatever hyper-focus you got going on right now, it has a sense of like you're executing your own, executing your own justice. And that justice is somehow making you get your ass to work. Maybe you're just trying to uncover something, figure something out, build yourself up, or just be successful. And that's the justice because you deserve to be successful. You deserve to be on top. You deserve to fight for what you want, for what you deserve for yourself. But either way, it feels very like Eight of Pentacles energy. Again, heavy Virgo energy, but we're in a lot of Virgo energy. So that doesn't surprise me. You're really just utilizing it to your advantage. And Libras, keep in mind, this time period in September in general is going to highly impact you because we're going from Virgo to Libra and Virgo is also, um, excuse me, Virgo is also like a very mutable energy and Libra is because you're all about balance. <laughs> the mutable energy can throw you off kilter very quickly, which is why you have to work a little extra harder. To, a little, little, Jesus, where's my grandma today? Work a little extra hard to maintain that balance. Okay. So just keep that in mind for yourselves. Um, Libra, another thing I saw that was like, I gotta be honest, was really touching, felt and saw, I felt a lot of heart chakra energy, a lot of heart chakra energy. Um, and then I saw coyotes and coyotes. I love coyotes. You could just have coyote as an animal totem. You could be dealing with a coyote person. Um, but coyotes basically, they know the blueprints, right? They know the grand design and they are the tricksters. They throw the curveballs to get you on your path to keep everything in place to keep things as they're supposed to or to get you back on your path if you've strayed away. They're full of surprises. Coyotes are basically throwing surprises your way for the betterment of you, okay? But coyotes, for those who aren't aware, are also known as the soul dogs, like soul song, soul song dogs, song dogs. My words are all over the place today. Song dogs, because of the way they howl and they have a yipping language. And I won't get into, ner into that because that's just like going down the nerd rabbit hole and we don't got time for that today. Okay, I'm behind, <clears throat> I'm behind schedule. Uh, it's funny, I almost called you Virgos. Libra, with this heart chakra energy, I feel like a calling out to somebody, to be completely frank with you. It's like almost like a pulsating of energy, like a rhythm, like a heartbeat, of course, but like a rhythm, like a song. And I feel like you're almost calling out to people with your heart chakra. And keep in mind, someone could be calling out to you specifically, because they showed me the coyote like right after that. And immediately I thought, song dog, that's right. And coyotes sing or howl or yip for many different reasons but it's to communicate with their pack it's to communicate to their pack if they need help if they're in trouble or just for celebratory purposes uh i keep wanting to call you virgo that is so weird you could just be a virgo libra cusper libra <laughs> um this energy of calling out, I feel like some of you are calling out to your soul tribe. Could also be calling out to a soulmate of yours, but it's such a calling out and yearning, but it feels so positive and it feels so beautiful. I just, I'm like, oh my God, I just loved to feel that energy. It's like beaming out of your chest. It's beaming out of your chest, but definitely it feels like a calling out, a reaching out. Someone could be calling out and reaching out for you, Libra. So keep that in mind, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and get into your reading here, guys. For those who are new to my channel, uh, these are very general readings, so just keep that in mind. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So not all messages will resonate with you week to week. So if it's not your message today, that's totally fine. Check out any other readers on YouTube. Got a lot of really fabulous ones and no need to throw any hate. If it's not your message, just think your message. Someone else just had to hear that, okay? Uh, we are also working with energy, so keep that in mind that messages can be reversed, vice versa. They can pertain to you, someone you're connected with, someone that you that is in your physical environment, excuse me. Uh, if it's resonating but the roles are reversed just reverse them still resonating right uh also guys keep in mind that gender doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine energy so don't get hung up on the end of the cards okay let's get started let's get started with this mm. 
Any messages for Libra? That was standing up. Standing up. Yeah, Libra, I feel like you're executing your own justice. I feel like you're standing up for yourself and in standing up for yourself, I think you've had to analyze very heavily a situation that you're involved in, a situation you don't like. For some of you, it's just really burning the midnight oil and working your ass off to finally stand up for what you deserve and work your ass off for what you deserve. Yeah, you're executing your own justice. You're executing your own justice here. I like that. I like it. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Don't slow me down. I just heard don't, don't slow me down. Any messages for Libra regarding love? September 1st to the 11th? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Libras, some of you might have felt like you've made some bad investments. Or that you invested in someone when you shouldn't have and it's like, Psh, I need to turn this shit around and you went right back to work. You went right back to investing properly, right back into the fire. Oh, that's a mistake. That's fine. Let's, fi let's fix it right now. Executing your own justice. I do feel a sense of impatience with this as well. A big sense of impatience. A big sense of impatience. Some of you might have been working really hard for quite a, lot, a long time and you're like, where the fuck are my fruits of labor? You know, some of you could also be feeling that. I do feel a little bit of impatience coming off of that for some of you. And coyotes... Sorry, they're bringing it back up to coyotes. Like I said, some coyotes throw curveballs, or that energy throws curveballs. Can you imagine a coyote throwing a curveball at you? Anyway, I, I'm feeling a little silly today. I don't know what's up with me. Um, Libra, coyote and energy, coyote animal totems, they come up to throw curveballs when you've made a mistake. And like I said, I already touched on that a little bit, but they want me to re reiterate that. Now, oh. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Libra. <laughs> what is this? Five of Wands, Leo energy, Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water. And then we have a Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. I have to be honest, I feel a sense of competition here. I do feel two different people here. Um, this could just be between you and your partner because Aries is your seventh house. It is your natural partner, your natural complement, right? Like Scorpio to Taurus, Cancer to Capricorn, Libra to Aries. So for some of you, this is just between you and a lover, you and a friend, you and a business partner, or maybe there's been some mistakes and you're like, we're executing justice right now. We're going to fix this shit. And maybe they're kind of fighting you on it. Okay. Or the two of you could just be going at it right now, fighting right now. Um, and you're getting really impatient and you're trying to execute your injustice and stand up for yourself. It could definitely be that, but I definitely feel a competition here. E. So keep in mind, like I said, messages can be vice versa, but Libras, some of you, cause I'm getting competition. Some of you could be deciding between a queen of swords and a queen of wands. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Be mindful of that. Let's see what else we have here. Any messages for Libra regarding love? Any messages for Libra regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Libra? Ooh. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You don't want to miss the boat. Libra, that's what I'm feeling. You don't want to miss the boat here. You're Some of you are tired of making mistakes, executing your own justice, standing up for yourself, not going to put up with anyone getting in your way. Not going to put up with anyone getting in your way and you're not going to miss out on opportunity because of anyone else. No mistakes. No mistakes. No one's getting in my way. I, I can't miss the boat on this. I can't miss the target. For some of you, it's like, I can't miss the target again. I can't miss the boat again. It's like, at whatever whatever's going to happen, Libra, you'll be damned if you're going to miss out on this opportunity, whatever it is, whatever this opportunity is. You're not letting anyone stop you. It's your It's you getting your own justice. Any messages for Libra regarding love? That's it. Overall energy, four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Underneath that, we have two of cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader. This is someone holding on to a connection. And I got to be honest, ugh, feels very frayed. Feels very tired. Feels very worn. Like, I'm trying to think of a good analogy for this. Like, you know, if you hold on to something really tight and you never let go of it, like the oils in your hands, the sweat in your hands will start to actually like deteriorate what you're holding. Almost like a chocolate bar. Like, I don't, I don't know another analogy for that. 
someone, you or someone you're connected with Libra has been holding on to a connection here and it's actually been wearing out the connection because they've been gripping so hard. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Over gripping is deteriorating a connection. Thank you. Just put it that way. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, so like I said, Libra, some of you feel like you've made mistakes in your investments and you're trying to rectify that because you're not going to miss out on an opportunity. Some of you are restless because you've been working so hard and not seeing the fruits of your labor and you don't want to miss out on an opportunity just because you've been working really hard and you don't want to get tired. But like I said, you just don't want to make a mistake. You really don't want to make a mistake. But some of you took a detour somewhere and you're trying to rectify that and you'll be damned if you miss it again. And in the midst of that, some of you are fighting with someone because you feel like they're getting in your way. Um, others of you, like I said, for some, I feel a choice between two people as part of an opportunity and you're not going to make a mistake in choosing the wrong person. And others of you, you're trying to work with this person to not miss this opportunity, but there it's, it's too combative. It's too combative and you guys can't work it out. But Libra, I feel that energy. You're not letting anyone fuck with your opportunity. You're not. You'll be damned. If you let anyone or anything fuck up an opportunity for you again or just in general, decide how that resonates with you. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Let me use right away to clarify. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. I heard 7th in there. I heard 7th. Tell me about the 7 of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. God, they're giving me numbers. 13. I just forgot 13. Tell me about 7 of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about 7 of Pentacles in reverse. Ew, yeah, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. You're not making that mistake again. You're not making any more mistakes. You're not taking any more detours. No more wasting time. No more wasting time. You're being very serious, Libra. Very serious. I heard Virgo again. That Virgo energy is a little intense. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles. Justice, not surprised. Uh, we have some other cards out here. Oh, interesting. Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy, Queen of Wands, Aries energy, could also be fire or water with a Page of Pentacles. This Queen of Wands has come to a decision here about something. Um, and whatever this decision is, it's taking a new perspective on something. It's studying something. And I do feel an offer coming from this Queen of Wands, which is interesting because we have, like I said, there's some combative energy between you and a queen of wands, whether you're trying to work with them on this opportunity, trying to smooth things over to, for, to have an opportunity with this queen of wands, or you're choosing between a queen of wands and a queen of swords. But this queen of wands has come to their own decision, has come to their own decision. And I feel a reaching out. I feel a reaching out here. But then we get justice. Libra energy. Whatever this reaching out is from this queen of wands, They've been mulling something over. This Queen of Wands has definitely been mulling something over quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's almost like they've been sitting in a corner thinking to themselves. And whatever this extension is, whatever this olive branch is, it's bringing in justice or it could just be straight up an offer to you, Libra. We'll see what other cards come out here. But like I said, there's like a comp competitive fighting contention between the two of you. So this is going to get interesting. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a minute. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh, okay, okay. What? Okay. <laughs> and now we have the hair font. Taurian energy with the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Talk about major gripping and control, man. Hier Hierophant is a very um, institutional, institutional kind of energy here, okay? The Four of Pentacles, again, it's like that not letting go. Not letting go, not letting go, not letting go, not letting go, not letting go. Not letting go, not letting go, I'm not letting go, I'm not letting go. It's very persistent. Overall energy for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. 
the Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, and then we have strength. Again, more control, Leo energy. Wow, Ace of Wands and the freaking Ace of Cups. Wow. Sorry, I'm like, why? I'm getting the heart chakra energy again. It's like, God, it's gonna sound so cheesy, but this Empress, this Empress has quite the effect on people, is what I'm gathering. Quite the effect on people, or like one person in particular. One person in particular, it's almost like an energy of like, God, it's gonna sound so cheesy, so I don't wanna say it. It's almost like, um, like taking your breath away. It sounds so cheesy saying that. I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. Spirit, that's too cheesy. I like, I don't like when they make me say cheesy things like that. But with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, that's a lot of passion. That's a lot of love here. But with strength, it's almost like this, this Empress is feeling, okay, wow. Oh, this is intense. It's a mutual energy this Empress is feeling with someone. Uh, Libra, I do, yeah, it's, mm. Libra, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. Take it as it resonates, Libra, but I feel like this is you. Um, it feels like a mutual energy, but the strength card here, the Empress is keeping composure with it. The Empress is keeping composure with it. The, the other energy, I feel like, is not dealing so well. Um, but this Empress is keeping their composure about it. It's intense. It's really intense energy. It's really intense energy, and it's very heavy in the heart chakra. Very heavy in the heart chakra. But coming back down to this Hierophant and Four of Pentacles, someone's not letting a commitment go. Someone's not letting a commitment go, but the fact that a Two of Cups is in reverse tells me that it's like, oh, it just, it's like trying to hold on to something that's disintegrating in front of you, right? The more you hold on to it, it's not going to stop it from disintegrating. It's actually going to speed up the process, right? Yeah, Libra, I feel really strong that this Queen of Wands energy has made a decision about something um, and is trying to come forward, trying to come forward. It doesn't feel like an apology. It doesn't feel like an apology. It just kind of feels like an extension. feels like, hey, how you doing? Right? just feels like an extension of energy because they can't let go. Because they can't let go. But there's this contention here between a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Swords. But this Queen of Wands isn't letting something go, but it seems like they're coming out of isolation after making a decision. And I gotta be honest, it almost seems like they ran away, like scurry, that's the word, scurry. They scurried away into isolation. And a Queen of Wands usually has the expectation that someone's gonna follow, for me as a reader. And I don't think you followed, Libra. I don't think you followed, but they never let you go. But they never let you go. Very stubborn energy, this one. Okay, let's look at this Five of Wands. Let's look at this Five of Wands. Let me use the Legacy deck here to clarify. Oof, talk about the Five of Wands. Talk about the Five of Wands for Libra. Talk about the Five of Wands. For Libra, regarding love, I feel like this Queen of Wands has trouble controlling their emotions. Sorry, I'm picking up on something. This scurry energy is bothering me. It's like they they scurried away. <laughs> it's like like a little animal. Um, it almost just seems like in the chaos of things too, like a split second decision. Just scurry. It feels a little tantrumy. It's like I'm upset. I'm gonna disappear. With the expectation they'd be followed and they weren't and so in the midst of their isolation they made a decision to come forward it feels like begrudgingly though that's why i don't feel emotion behind that yeah that's why it feels be like begrudgingly because i don't feel apology i don't feel emotion behind it i just feel like a tangible hi <laughs> i think they have trouble controlling their emotions talking about five of wands I heard leo all of a sudden talking about five of wands for libra Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. And then we'll look at this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Five of Wands. For Libra, regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Come on. <laughs> Tell me about the Five of Wands for Libra. 
regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Five of Wands for Libra regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh, Chariot in Reverse, Cancerian Energy. No forward movement. No forward. Back. Oh, wow, I'm actually hearing backpedaling. <sighs> Whatever this fighting is between this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Swords, which I do feel like is you, Libra. I feel like it's between you and this Queen of Wands. Whatever this fighting and contention is, it's almost like regression. It's like the more you engage in the argument or the fight, it's like you're almost unraveling any kind of work or progress you two made. That's definitely the energy I'm getting. I'm also getting that, like, there, there's this energy of wanting to, like, go full force forward. Oh, okay, yeah. The decision to... This is crazy. Okay. Because, Libra, I feel strongly this is just between you and this person. But I'm also getting a choice of, like, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. I can't shake that energy. You know, guys, I'm really sick of third parties. I really hope this is not a third party situation because um, there's also an energy I'm picking up of feeling chosen by both of these individuals, like an energy of choosing me, choosing them, choosing me, choosing them. But at the same time, Libra, I feel like you're making a decision whether or not to deal with this Queen of Wands anymore. Let's keep going. Tell me about the Five of Wands see here feels very competitive moon in reverse piscean energy could also be cancerian for me as a reader with a seven of cups oh scorpionic energy options hmm, hmm. i was like i really don't want this to be a third party situation options 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 forward movement can't happen because there's too many goddamn options that's how, that's what's being revealed by the moon energy there's too many options okay Let's see what else we got here, Libra. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Oh, I see. That's what that is. That's the energy I was picking up on. Okay. I'll make sense now. Hold on. Let's get more cards out of here and then I'll, I'll tell you guys. Tell me about the Five of Wands for Libra regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Okay. Wow. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, my pre-Empress card. I see what's going on here. <laughs> okay, Libra. Uh, someone's got options here. Someone's got options and someone's kind of playing the field is what I'm getting here. Someone's playing the field and that's being revealed. That's being revealed here and that's causing fighting between you and this Queen of Wands. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is extending an olive branch to you um, because they just can't let go of you. They could just quite simply, just quite simply can't let go of you, okay? Uh, Libra, but you got a lot of options. You got a lot of options here. Um, and that's leading to this feeling of choosing A, B, C, or D when it comes to people. That's what I was picking up on. So I thought I was choosing between a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Swords. It's not. Libra, it's you choosing between other people. Make sense? That's what that is. That's what I was picking up on. I was like, I know I can feel it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? That's what, I, that's what I was feeling. That's what I was feeling. Libra, you got a lot of options here and you're trying to whittle them down. And it's interesting because you're in a pre-empress energy, which feels like a very single energy. However, you are still coming across as an empress here with the ace of cups and ace of wands in a new opportunity. This is after a choice has been made. This is after a choice has been made. And I feel like for some of you, it is almost like You've been kind of in a situation ship, so to speak, with someone. And you've been kind of looking at your options in the, in the meantime. And now you're basically coming to the point where it's like, well, gee, I don't have to be single anymore. I can actually be locked down with someone. And I feel like, Libra, you already share a major connection with someone because I can feel it beaming out of your heart chakra. I can feel it. Overall energy, the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, neutrals, Capricorn. You could be traveling, not necessarily. You could be... Um, Getting involved with someone who is not of your ethnicity, not of your culture. Uh, but this is basically starting new. Starting anew. Libra, you've decided that you want new. You've decided you want different. You've already decided that. This Queen of Wands is, is coming in late, is kind of what, what I'm getting with this. This Queen of Wands was off in their corner doing their thing, and you weren't really following them. They're not happy about it. So now they're extending an olive branch to you because they can't let you go. But you're like, well, psh, boo, I'm sorry. I, I kind of... I, I, I've already decided on where I'm going. 
I've already decided on where I'm going. But this Queen of Wands is not happy about that. That's why the Five of Wands is right there. They're not happy about that. They're not happy about it. But a cycle is already starting. It's already starting. And Libra, like I said, you're not letting anybody get in the way of, of, of your next opportunity. You're not. You're not going to miss this. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So let's get into that. Just tell, showing you what it was. Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love. Wow. I like... You snooze, you lose. I mean, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like, with this... In, in regards to this Queen of Wands, it's like... You scurried away... <laughs> You scurried away into isolation. You're coming back with no emotion, really. I mean, it's it's fire, it's pentacles, it's swords. It's literally everything but water. You're coming back with no emotion, no apology. And you're upset because, well, you scurried away, I explored my options. And you're upset because I'm already have, feeling that c commitment connection in the midst of you scurrying away and leaving. Even though overall it's like you really couldn't let me go. You just didn't know how to deal with this. I, I, you know, I'm not trying to paint this Queen of Wands to be a bad person. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. But I hate to say it, but yeah, as soon as you lose. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love, September first to the eleventh. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Whew. Wow. 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 Magician in reverse, mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy, three of cups in reverse, can't Syrian energy, feel a little bit of a trickster, a little bit of a trickster. Yeah, Libra, you, like I said, you're not missing this opportunity, but this person almost made you miss it. This person almost made you miss it. Because I feel a very trickstery energy here. I feel a little bit of party energy. And I got to be honest, also a little bit of third party energy. And Libra, you've made your choice. And you, 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 you already decided. You've decided. You're serving yourself for your own justice. You're not going to put up with someone like that. You're not going to put up with someone who's going to play games. You're not going to put up with someone who's going to play games. You're taking yourself out of the equation. You're taking yourself out of the game. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, you're breaking this, you're breaking this commitment. It's all, honestly, it's already been broken because this person just, I can feel it. Like this person ran the fuck away. They ran away. They ran away. But it's like now they're coming back like I'm ride or die <laughs> with no emotion you're you're breaking that contract contract null and void Let's see what else we have here tell me about ace of pentacles in reverse for Libra tell me about ace of pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love September 1st to the 11th Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Oh, yeah. King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. We do have a soulmate energy here, but that doesn't surprise me. This is the person you're breaking this contract with. This is the person you're breaking the contract with. It is someone who's cut from the same cloth as you, but clearly, Libra, uh, you're dealing with a trickster. Deal with a trickster. And all because they like were gripping so hard to it that they it's like they can't let it go. But at the same time, they're playing games because they don't know how to deal with their own emotions. Null and void. Null and void. Overall energy. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. 
Then we have, ooh, we have a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. And then we have a Page of Cups. And you guys ready? Are you ready for this? We have an Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. And there's your Justice again, Libra energy. You have taken this bad investment and turned around and started investing in someone else. Start investing in someone who's up to your caliber, up to your standards, someone who's not playing the game, someone who's very stable. With that Knight of Pentacles, it's a slow build, is what I'm getting. A very slow build, because it's basically building something the right way. Page of Cups, very sincere emotion. Emotion versus non-emotion, right? And an Emperor with Justice. And like I said, Libra, Empress. And that beaming heart chakra energy of love and passion, very composed, very ladylike, very graceful. It feels very mutual. It feels very, very mutual with whoever this is. And they do feel like a new person here. Yeah, I mean, God, I, I again, I feel bad for this Queen of Wands. I do. But this Queen of Wands definitely feels like a trickstery energy. They were playing games. You weren't having that shit. And you served yourself your own justice by finding someone who's very stable. Hold on, if I could hold this up. Very stable, got their shit together, and has emotion in their heart. Has emotion, not afraid. Controlling their emotion, able to control their emotion. And this person comes back, oh yeah, I'm ride or die for you. Are you? <laughs> right? Are you? Are you now? Wow. This took a crazy turn. This took a crazy turn. Just for fun. Just for fun. I'm going to take this emperor and empress and I'm going to see the energy between them and then we'll pull advice. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Um, What deck haven't I used? We'll do steampunk. Show me the energy. Between this Empress and Emperor. Hey. Show me the energy between this Empress and Emperor. Show me this energy between this Empress and Emperor. Show me the energy between this Empress and Emperor. Yeah, I really feel, Libras, that it's like, for some of you, this emperor is not necessarily new. Like for some of you, this emperor, you've known them before and you had a shot with them before, but this queen of wands got in the way. Like that's really, how, that's really how it's feeling. And it's like, yeah, I'm not missing, I'm not missing this again. I'm not missing this again. Tell me about emperor and empress. That's for some of you. And you know, Libra, you just, you just made a bad investment in the wrong person. That's all. That's all. It happens. It happens. Show me the energy between this empress and emperor. Show me the energy between this empress and emperor. Show me this energy between this empress and em <laughs> the empress is very captivating. I can't stop looking at the empress for some reason. Um, some. Why can't I stop looking at this empress? This empress is very commanding. Sorry, I'm like. Uh, I like, I can't stop staring at her, even though the emperor's right there. There's something about this empress that's very beaming. It's like very captivating. The energy kind of pulls you in. Uh, a lot of people probably look at this empress a lot. And Libra, like I said, I do feel like this is you. So if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But yeah, Libra, that's how you're coming across. Like very beaming, very attractive. People like to look at you. People like to look at you. You're commanding in your energy. Show me the energy between this empress and emperor. Show me the energy between this empress and emperor. See what we got here. Ooh, show me the em of course. Show me the energy between the Empress and Emperor. I'm gonna show you all the cards first. So we only got one card out here for so far. Show me the energy between this Empress and Emperor. Show me the energy between this Empress and Emperor. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. Show me the energy between this empress and emperor. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. You guys ready? The moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader with the Ace of Pentacles. What did I say, Libra? You're not missing this opportunity. This is energy between the empress and the emperor. The fact that the moon is here, I do feel a lot of flooding of emotion, but also like a hidden opportunity. It's like, it was kind of there the whole time, Libra. It was kind of there the whole time and you're just seizing it now because you've made a bad investment and you're investing wisely now, right? You're not taking that, you're not missing the opportunity. You're not missing that boat. You're not missing that boat. You want to know what's really interesting though? 
Magician and Justice in Reverse. What did I say? That Queen of Wands, where'd that Magician card go? Trickster. They feel it's a major injustice. They're feeling like whatever's going on between the two of you is a major injustice to them. Major. And overall, the Eight of Cups. Piscean energy, moving forward to the Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups always goes to the Ten of Cups, yeah. There's a beautiful connection between this Empress and Emperor, and it's very mutual. It's very, very balanced as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get some advice from the Spirit Animal deck here. Any advice? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody was mentioning blueprint, right? Koala spirit. Uh, spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an 8. And then we have Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. 32 breaking down to a 5. Koala spirit is my blueprint card in, in this deck specifically. It is being on your path, being where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to do, going where you're supposed to go, always leading to success because it's what you're supposed to be doing, right? Hawk spirit is divine guidance here. Um, it's also a, a very an energy of a spirit guide being very close at hand basically being guided to your path being guided to your blueprint following your intuition and doing what's right for you and hold on if i can pick these cards up and starting a whole new cycle with this emperor with love and passion it's it's very beautiful libra very very beautiful let's see what else we got here any advice for my libras Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of cards. Oh, there's a lot of cards. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Wow. I love these cards. Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. 56, breaking down to an 11. Nightingale Spirit, love is all around. 41, breaking down to a five. You guys know me. Uh, if you've been with me for a long time, you know that this card for me is indicative of having a very, very significant lover at play in the scenario, which obviously this emperor, I would say, fits the bill. Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between, 26, breaking down to an 8. And Cow Spirit, the miracles are endless. 15, breaking down to a 6. And then we end with Swan Spirit. Very Piscean-heavy card for me. Uh, 60, breaking down to a 6. I'm actually having intuition with this card. Usually for me, it's diving into your heart chakra. <laughs> which I already kind of felt your heart chakra was on fire here in the situation, Libra. Libra, you manifested this emperor. You manifested this emperor. You manifested this connection. Um, and I feel like you were really hurt when this Queen of Wands energy, male or female, really, you know, scurried. I'm getting a scurrying. It's not even like a dipping. It's not like a bye. It's like they scurried away. They scurried and hit it under a rock. Very interesting. But Flamingo spirit with cow spirit, like I said, there's abundance here. Miracles are endless. That's about abundance. And flamingo spirit says like it's indicating there's a transition. Libra, you are in transition from dealing with this queen of wands to going to your emperor here, okay? You're in transition of that because you manifested this emperor into your life. You manifested this connection. You manifested this opportunity. You put in the freaking work. It was there the whole time. You just had to put energy into it to see it to have it come to fruition. It was in, it was basically, all the tools were there the whole time. You just had to make it happen. You just had to see it and you see it and you're grabbing it. You're not letting this opportunity go. And I just feel such a deep emotion here. A lot of intuition though. What is this intuition about? Um, Libra, between you and this emperor, there's a lot of spiritual stuff going on. There's a lot of spiritual stuff going on. I feel heavy, he just like, oh, okay, telepathic. That's got to be telepathic. Um, I feel about tele teletubby? <laughs> Telepathic communication between uh, you and this emperor. Oh, it's this connection. It's this. It's this. It's this. Oh, it's the soul song. Oh, it's that oh, it's that calling out to your pack. That's what that is. Your emotional waters run deep with this person, with this Emperor Libra. You know it. You know it. And I think that's why it's like your heart chakra is like beaming. Cause you're trying to control it, like you're trying to keep composure and like grace, but it's mutual. It's mutual. It runs deep. It runs deep. It runs hella deep. Alright, that being said, we actually haven't even finished getting all the cards out here, so 
<laughs> All right, let's see what other advice wants to come out. 40 minutes? Okay, the readings are long today, guys. Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Overall? Oh, awesome. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. I can't wait to show you. Be spirit. Sweet results await with the energy of seven. Again, seven's an energy of being on your path and heading in the right direction. Very much coupling the blueprint energy, right? Of being in the right place, doing the right things at the right time, as you're supposed to, as you were always meant to. Underneath this, yeah, eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. 23, breaking down to a five. You guys are kindred spirits. I mean, it's ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. 23 and 32. The hawk and the eagle. And for those that are on the counterpart journey, the feminine and the masculine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just let that soak in. Libras, I hope you found this reading insightful and helpful. This was a little mind-blowing for me, to be honest with you. I was like, there's a lot of elements going on here. And I do feel bad for this Queen of Wands. I do. I do. They clearly just have some growing to do. They just got some growing to do. They got to learn how to deal with their emotions. Um, yeah, they got to learn how to deal with their emotions. And Libra, you've learned from this. You're not missing this opportunity. You're not missing it. You're not missing it. And keep in mind, because we do have three people going on here essentially. Uh, Libra, you could have been any one of these people. Okay. All right, guys, don't forget to check out Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste, Libras.